Hi there, John McGuigan, Glasgow Dog Trainer and Behaviour Consultant, www.glasgodogtrainer.co.uk. You can find me on Facebook as well and my blog, which is glasgodogtrainer.wordpress.com. I want to talk a little bit about the, some of the passive training equipment which we can use, or sort of the passive dog training toys, or dog toys which can be used to passively train your dog. When I say passively training, I'm talking about um, Training it can be done when you're not actively involved. So um, it's mainly the dog to toys I'm talking about are interactive dog toys which you put food into. There's a number of them in the market. Nina Ottison uh, makes excellent ones which are puzzles for your dog. Um, some of the more basic ones which we'll talk about are the Kong, which most of you have uh, seen or know about. Busy Buddy, which I think is Premier Pets. Yeah, Premier Pets make this one. And this is called the Squirrel Dude, which is the same, it's almost exactly the same um, product, just a different, uh, just looks a little bit different. This one here's got, uh, it's like kind of little barbs, that go in here, rubber barbs, and that's to stop the food coming out. And this one here is hollow. Uh, there's an excellent video uh, by Eileen and Dogs, which I'll link in the comments below, uh, to show you how to teach your dog how to chew from one of these. Kong also make these ones, Kong Genius they're called, and they're, these fit together. You put the food in here, the dog plays with it, and then the food comes out either end. So the more that you can then link these together, and you could put food in this one and block, you could buy another one of these, put it through here and block this hole on this side, which means that the dog then has to shake or play with the toy to get the food into this hole and then out of this one. These link together pull apart so they fit back in like that. With these dog toys what we want to do ultimately is put dog food in here and freeze them and give them to the dog. Uh, the video that I've, I've linked uh, shows you how to do this properly. What this now teaches your dog to do is it's effectively your dog's PlayStation or your dog's Nintendo. Train the dog to chew from these when you're there so that you can then leave them with them when you're not there and it gives your dog something to do. The dog's chewing an appropriate toy, so it's chewing this rather than your furniture and your shoes. It's less likely to dig up your carpets uh, or chew your skirting boards because it's chewing this. The dog is receiving food reinforcement for chewing this toy, so you're actually training the dog to chew this toy, which means that even when the toy's empty, the dog is more likely to chew the toy than chew anything else. The dog's lying, generally lying down uh, when, it's, when it's taking the food from this, so you're reinforcing lying down. Reinforcing calm behaviour, the dog's heart rate's reduced, the blood pressure's reduced, all these calm things that you're teaching your dog to do. The dog has to be quiet, your dog has to be quiet when it's, because um, it will generally not get anything from barking at this, which means that when you leave it alone and give it one of these, you're teaching your dog to be quiet uh, when you're out. They're truly excellent dog toys, and I would thoroughly recommend that everybody trains their dog uh, to chew from Kongs. Now, you can, what I would, my recommendation is that you, you feed the vast majority of your dog's food from these, even when you're there, which gives you, you come in from work, you're making your dinner and you take one of these that you've already prepared out of the freezer and you give it to your dog, and your dog's now got sitting, lying on the floor, uh, chewing uh, from the toy for half an hour or 45 minutes to get the food out of it. They're then tired from chewing this toy and getting their food from it, so they're much more likely to go to sleep. Uh, or, or be more stimulated to, uh, so they're, they're going to be more tired. The other thing that's cool about them is that it gives your dog's jaws and neck muscles a really good workout because it has to work this toy to get the food from it. Um, follow the link below, have a look at it and um, yeah, they're excellent dog toys and I'll see you again the next time. Alright, thanks very much, bye now.